Good day, Sir Hawk. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you for subscribing. Those that have, please like and share. This is an extremely important mission I'm on to change the situation in South Africa and to help change the situation in the United States too. Hopefully we'll get some logic going on and stop what's happening in the world today. My passion is to bring peace to everybody, all races, and prosperity. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do hit the little red button, like and share, sign my petition at the end of this video for sanctions against the South African government for human rights violations, increased apartheid laws that are far worse than the last government that was there, the massive murder, rape, and torture of people in South Africa, and the absolute, absolute criminal corruption that is happening, that is destroying the Southern Africa to the point that there's going to be a humanitarian crisis of epic proportion when all the farms fail like they did in Rhodesia or Zimbabwe. The world needs to come together. So please sign my petition at the end of this video. Share it with your friends your family members and help me campaign to bring a million signatures to remove the ANC government and the EFF political party who are part of the ANC and the South African Communist Party and the controlling of the unions, the trade union, communist trade unions that are in South Africa that actually dictate to the government what to do. And remove these criminals and put a, a proper democratically elected, non-racist, capitalist, free market system back into the system where everybody is able to participate in the government and remove every single apartheid law that was ever created never to return and to stop the killing of the minorities in South Africa by a communist criminal government. I want to talk about the IMF and the South African taxpayer in the Chinese Communist Party. Let me begin with explaining Christine Madeleine Odell Nadadia. She is serving as the chairman and managing director of the International Monetary Fund. When you consider that the government is spending more money than they are receiving from taxes in, United, in South Africa, it is impossible for them to pay back this loan that they got for COVID-19. I find it extremely difficult to understand that an international monetary fund, knowing that every single politician in South Africa in government in the ANC has some criminal activity for corruption, that the country has gone back a hundred years in development since the ANC took over. There are over 300 to 500 cases of corruption from the highest levels to the lowest levels in the country. I can tell you one thing right now. The IMF didn't loan the money to help the South African people. They loaned their money to steal the country. The only person responsible to pay this loan back is Cyril Ramaphosa and his cohorts, the ANC. There are numerous, numerous, numerous cases of corruption. Not one person has been put in jail. Jacob Zuma, the past president, is still running around. The Gupta brothers are still running around. Every single one of them, including Ace Mahashula, Mabusa, all of them, Kososani Zuma, with her cigarette and alcohol corruption, Julius Malama, another one, with the VBS bank, Nobody goes to jail in South Africa for corruption. But they loaned them billions of dollars again. For what reason? 
to do exactly what the Chinese did. They've loaned them millions and millions of dollars. They can't pay it back. They gave them millions for ask them, it collapsed. They borrowed more money and more money and more money because the same criminals are in charge. These people are not helping South Africa. They're not helping the South African people. This is not a white and black thing. This is a this is a, a competency thing. This is when you have criminals in power who are stealing the money that should go to be building schools, roads, clinics, hospitals, and many many other things, and having a non-corrupt, non-racist, equal ec economic system of of upliftment for all the people of South Africa. This is not happening. I will show you some video of some vehicles where money came from the United States to go for COVID-19. That money never went to the people. It went to buy luxury cars for Mfuetu and his brothers. Yeah, I know I love a castle. I can fit in so, so, so tell me what's going on for here. So this is the 911-992 Carrera 2020. Lea, I'm during the week. Yeah. 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 Porsche Panamera GTS 2020. Yes, my boy. Mm. 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 No one else. No one else. No one else. Yeah. No one else. Yeah. No one else. No one No one else. 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 No one yeah, thing yeah. Is in, thing is nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Thank you, Bob Nzo. He brought the dealership home. Nobody went to jail for that one. And nobody got help for COVID-19. All the government did was deploy the military to lock you all up. Now that they're re releasing you all out into the system, COVID-19 is exploding. And the criminals are hanging on to power. Listen, Ramaphosa is not your leader. He's just a man standing there with a microphone. The other six criminals are sitting there, or 13 criminals are sitting there, telling him what to say. That's why he waffles on about numbers and he feels sorry for the families that have died and uh, all this other nonsense. He's, he's just nothing. He's just a man with his hand out to the white man in Europe who's just a criminal. These people are not there to help South Africa. If they were, they would not be handing a criminal government all this money. All they're doing is making sure that they can control the government because they own money. This is not a loan from the South African people. This is a loan from the ANC themselves. Therefore, the ANC needs to pay this bill back, not the people of South Africa. This is the hawk. Consider what I'm saying and tell Ramaphosa this is his loan, not the people of South Africa. Sign my petition for sanctions against the ANC and have this government removed by any means. I need a million signatures, and I need it from everybody in South Africa, including black people. We need to get rid of these criminals so we can rebuild South Africa to be a real country, not a criminal country, and not go backwards instead of going forwards. This is the hawk. Before I go, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget the signatures. This is the hawk.
Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the support. I'm out of here. Take care. Be safe out there.